We've got Javier the Shaman right here, yes, straight sir, from yes, Mexico sir. City. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. That's my He's roots, here to bless but... my house, dude. <laughs> and bless the demons, Adam Mauricio. Si, senor. All right. So, no, nah, I mean, as far as everything <laughs> goes, uh, welcome to the show, bro. I mean, like I told. Thank you for having me. Like, just so the the. Uh, people know. I mean, I I had to split up the show, dude. Give everyone their own time, yeah, yeah. you know. So you're gonna not only just see Cash Shames and Javier the Shaman, but you're gonna see Nate Jun and also Jason Nova, and they're all gonna have their own show. So I mean, let's just get it going. I'm pretty much, uh, I mean, gonna ask you the same similar questions like I said. So yeah, let's get it. Well, uh, again, like thank you for having me. I hella appreciate it. Shout out to everybody watching. Fucking let's get it. Yeah, man. I mean, as far as everything, introduce yourself, you know, as far as what you're about and yeah, all that. So my name's Hav the Shaman. I mean, I'm just, I mean, I'm just out here to create, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm starting to produce my own, uh, my own instrumentals. Everything you hear right now is done by other producers, like producers that have hit me up, like um, Jason Nova, my dog, like he's our main producer that which Cash has explained, like, known him, like, a fat minute, uh, I mean, yeah, like, I'm just an upcoming artist, I've, I've been doing this for, like, I've been releasing songs for almost a year now, I started in July of last year, so, I mean, it's coming up, but, I mean, as far as, like, writing songs and, like, just working on it on the low key, it's been, like, two, three years now, so, yeah. Nice, nice, so, that, as far as that's when you got it going, and, I mean, what? who inspires you? Because I feel like your guys' group is like, I want to say it's inspired by Tech 9 but then I want to say <laughs> it's inspired by Pro Era, and yeah. then I want to say Underachievers. Yeah, Because I hear yeah. all that, like, I I listened to your music, like, this week for sure. Like, I, yeah. stu- like, I studied Cash Ames and yours. And also, yeah, yeah. like, I haven't really hit up Nate's yet or uh, Jason. Like Jason, definitely because he's worked with you guys, so he yeah, was exactly. on your page. Yeah. I like, think you, I'm. I think I heard did his hear beats. Nate too. Yeah. But yeah, you've heard um, you've heard Nate on on like some features. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely sure that I have too. Yeah, but for sure. Like, uh, I'm just was mainly focusing on your guys' songs. What I'm trying yeah, to say. Absolutely. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, that shit's dope. Do you do you want to say something? You're like. Oh, um, but. But, like, yeah, as far as, like, who influences me, though, um, I mean, just, like, I listen to everything as, um, basically everything, you know what I mean? Despite, like, uh, basically, like, country and, like, uh, opera type, type deal, you know what I mean? But I'm influenced by, like, Pink Floyd and fucking, um, I love Jimi Hendrix, Bob Marley, like, Mac Miller, like, there's, there's, yeah, rest in peace for sure. There's a lot of different artists that have just, like, like, I grew up on, like, my main two music, like, two j- artists that I can remember from the roots is literally Good Charlotte and Tupac. So it's like, that that's weird, you know what I mean? Like, it's diverse for me, you know what I mean? So, Yeah, that's dope. I mean, yeah. both legends, I'd say, right? Yeah, sure. you yeah. You can't complain. Also, those guys that you said, too, Pro Era, Tech 9, Underachievers, we, all, we listen to all them, too. Those guys are some uh, good influencers upon us. Yeah, they're inspirational, definitely. With any, with their lyrics, their delivery, yeah, everything, absolutely. dude, everything's sick. I love the all those crews. I've seen Tech Nine live before, and he oh, puts dude. on a dope show. I bet that's fire. They yeah. all do. They all do. All those groups. Yeah, yeah. I've seen all of them live, and they're all yeah. great. I've I've seen like Flatbush and fucking like the Underachievers, and yeah, I've, I've been to him and I used to go to like Warp Tour and Extreme Thing, fucking like every year type deal, bro. Like. We did that shit all the time, bro. And then fucking, I mean, I started going to a lot of, like, different, like, rap shows. And I've been to, like, reggae, reggae shows. Like, I don't, I, I listen to everything, bro. Like, I love that shit. Music is my life, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I've been on a pay dues. The very last one I did. Really? Yeah, that shit was fucking crazy. I mean, I didn't know that it was going to be it, but. Yeah. Fuck. Technical difficulties. Here, give me a second. Oh, I got you. Yeah, Extreme Thing is definitely a dope festival. Uh, one year when we went to Warp Tour, uh, Futuristic was actually there. 
And that first show that I played, dude, Futuristic, came to the studio that night. And I wish I would have fucking stayed and hopped on a track with that guy. Dude, homie literally left. I left literally like 15 minutes before Futuristic Dick got there. And I was like staying because I, I was knew there, he was going to show it up. Was and a then mission. I was like, I thought he was just going to leave, bro. Or like not even show up. You know what I mean? So he I was, was literally like, down the street from the, s- from the studio, dude. Uh-huh. All right, we walked down there. But there was yeah. way too many. Dude, it was funny because like i really didn't the know why i was there like yeah. i forgot why i went to this house dude. oh yeah i remember that <laughs> so yeah. i'm like i forgot why i went to this house and i'm like everyone's outside where futuristics at like in the porch yeah, yeah. and i'm like why the fuck is everyone back here it's crowded as hell dude <laughs> 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 and, the, yeah. and then, like, two seconds later, I see yeah. Futuristic right there, dude. Yeah. I was really? like, oh, Just, like, fuck. right there? Literally yeah, right in like, front oh, of me. But I, I didn't say sure, it was uh, good, but I saw him, like. Cash knows this homie named uh, Young Avion, and fucking, uh, like, he was hanging out with him, you know what I mean? So it's like. Yeah, I, I didn't, know. I didn't, I didn't get to chill with him, but I did get to see him up close yeah. twice, dude. Yeah, As I was tight. leaving that's the party, tight. I ran in. He was walking out, going to the studio, because he just yeah. walked up there. Yeah. But then I, I my it. Uber was yeah. picking me up as he was leaving. Yeah, exactly. I, I was bummed that I fucking literally left. Like, I was right peeking so I bet, hard I at the right house. I right there he was leaving to go to the studio, and I was dipping. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, I was just like, fuck. But nah, dude, it's, it's cool, dude. Yeah, exactly. It was it's a chilling. fucking good-ass night, dude. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, that, I had a great-ass time. Yeah, that was a good show, dude. Shout out Cash, dude. That boy. Uh, ma- yeah. yeah. That was actually, yeah, two months ago, my very first show. I think it was, what was the date? The Bro, that was your 11? first show? That was my first I show, thought straight that up. That, I honestly thought that that was like, because you, know. you, you guys had a crowd already. Yeah, dude, I had them all jumping, all singing. That was my first show, dude. Yeah, it reminded me, that shit was cool, dude. Hey, yeah, everyone that, go that check that, vid- fire, that vlog dude. out. Yeah, yeah, go peep his podcast, dude. Go, go watch that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, as far as we got off topic, but this is the whole thing, bro. <laughs> like this part of For it, real, dude. Dude, dude Mauricio, like, do you want to say some stuff? Up. Like, as far as festivals go or anything. All right, but yeah, I mean, you do you produce? Um, or like, how did that like, all get started for you? Like, um, so did you start recording and then make <laughs> your own stuff? Or all right, I'll tell you like literally the beginning of LTL in general. You know what I mean? Because how it all started is just a year like, ago, right? It, is kind of funny. No, no. like Long, long time like, ago? Like, it started with just Nate Junt, you know what I mean? And he, like, kind of inspired all of us because we were all kind of, like, we were all really inspired by music, but no one wanted to, like, really, like, do anything step about it, you know what I mean? In. Like, we never, like, I've always been, like, right. I used to not write bars, you know what I mean? Like, I was always, like, writing poems and, like, writing just, like, journalism and, like, writing just more, like, songs, you know what I mean? Like, I, I transitioned into bars when I was in, like, 11th, 12th grade, you know what I mean? But, like, before that, I was just, like, writing more, like, song-type deal or, like, writing even, like, stories and, like, like ideas for books and shit like that, you know what I mean? And then fucking so, so like... So are you going to write books still, though? Is that still oh, in the making? Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, You're most not definitely. giving that up, right? Yeah, no, not at all. I'm oh, going to yeah. write books for sure, bro. Like, be on the lookout. Like, it's going to take me a second. Like, music is my main focus, you know what I mean? But... I got knowledge to spread that I got to put as, in a book. You know, yeah. Let's I mean? talk so, about that for a second. Like, what but, what kind of writing do do you uh, do dude, on the uh, side? Well, like, I want to do like some type of fictional stuff. Just like write like concepts that are more like thought provoking, and you really have to think about what the fuck is going on. Because, I mean, if you're just gonna look at that shit just like more blind and just read it to read it, you're not gonna understand it. You know what I mean? You have to like be into it you know what i mean you have to like really think like you ever seen fucking like the butterfly effect or yeah. like or like donnie darko fight or club. fucking like yeah fight club like saw y- yeah saw like they're <laughs> <laughs> saw. <laughs> saw just like let's get raw like like nothing like that more just like crazy or have you seen that movie donnie fucking, darko's um, fucking wild bro yeah i love that have movie, you seen bro. Ho- uh red velvet yet um, or velvet, velvet. I don't. I don't think so, bro. Um, it's a Netflix original. Really? It's a have you Have you seen that mo- that movie Shutter Island with? Uh, yeah, okay, dude. <laughs> that shit was. That I was, hit, I was that shit on tripped acid, me the fuck dude, out or, at the I'm end. I'm sorry. Dude. I was. I wasn't on acid. I was on some booms, bro. Bro, like me and fucking 
me and my homegirl, dude, we just like tripped on an eighth of booms. Like, she, her first time on booms, she was down to send the eighth, and I was like, bet. I, bet. Ha- I would I never like, do that. Okay, dude, I know. I was just like, you ambitious. I feel it. So, like, she sent it, dude, and then fucking we watched this damn movie, and it was just like tripping me out. I still got to watch it again so that I could, like, fully grasp it, you know what I mean? And just, like, pay a fucking attention to it, because, like, at one point she tried to show it to me, like, who directed it, and it was highlighted in blue, and there was, like, this description right here, you know what I mean? And I was trying to read the description to find the director's name, and she was just, like, looking at me like, really, Doug? How do you not see the director's name right there? And I was just like, dog, I'm tripping, my bad. (laughs) I know, dude, I... I hate electronics when I'm tripping, bro. Like, oh, that energy is not good, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, that shit's wild. But, like, but, yeah, dude, I don't, I don't like the energy of a cell phone when I'm tripping, dude. Like, it just, like, throws my balance off, bro. And it makes like, you think, like, do we actually really, like, why do we have these, like, because this is, like, like a lot of people use them just like a form of security nowadays, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, it's, like, and I don't even know, like, it's, like. I, I don't really like to use my phone, but I use it just because, like, I like to communicate with people, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, if I think if I think of, like, a good thought, I could just, like, post it on my story or something, you know what I mean? Twitter, and, like, share it with yeah. a bunch of people, you know what I mean? Sure. But it's like, I'm not, I'm not one to necessarily spread, like, a bad message or, like, negativity or anything like that, you know what I mean? So it's like, I try to use it for good, but a lot of people use it as, like, comfort or, like, like, say you're just, like, even standing in, in line, you know what I mean? It's like, you, you feel too awkward to even just stand there and look in front of you or, like, read a sign or do something. You know what I mean? You're like, um, there's, like, people in front of me. I have to read, like, look at my phone type deal. You know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, it's I like, get it. It's just weird when know. everybody's, but like, looking down at their phones and you're they're like, who do I talk to? <laughs> like, everybody's <laughs> yeah, on their fucking it, phones. <laughs> exactly, yeah. And it's, like, point proven, you know what I mean? Yeah. When you're the only one that's, like, aware of what's going on right now, it's like, damn, what's everyone doing? Like, you just, like, got your head down, like, um, they actually, do you guys watch Broad right. City? Or have you seen that, have you seen Black Mirror? Okay. Sorry. No, yeah, yeah. Like, Black well, Mirror is like, same shit, you know what I mean? Like, but what was I it? have, yeah. <laughs> it's oh. different scenario every, uh, show, yeah, like right? every episode, yeah. It's, it's like, like, uh, Twilight I, wa- Zone I, I, I only shit, watched right? the one that was interactive, and that one was pretty trippy, you know I only I mean? watched like, the first one, bro. There's even an option where you do a, do a tab acid, and it's pretty cool. Oh, like, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, yeah, that's but, crazy. Um, anyways, back on topic. So fucking like, so Nathan was like this really good kid, right? I watched like, the interactive one really good. Yeah, dude, I, I did. I it. did literally every different option Me you too, could. Dude, I, <laughs> I went back and did it yeah, too. Me I, and my I, little bro yeah, were like, I'm, I wonder what the fuck else well. happened. Like, yeah, there's a whole. But it is like, like, like we're I wish, it. I'm gonna I erase wish there that was part. More. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. people don't know, dude. We're ruining. We're ruining it for the viewers. My bad. So. Cut scene. No, nah, it's all good. Back, though. I, so, I wasn't, yeah, dude. <laughs> so, anyways, like Nathan was like this good ass kid, you know what I mean? And I was just like, grew up real rebellious, you know what I mean? Every, I, everywhere I lived but St. George was like fairly ghetto, you know what I mean? So, like, me being in St. George is always like kind of weird, even though that's like where I always ended up for some reason. But, like, so I like wake up, like, usual wake and bake, you know what I mean? I'm smoking out of this little fucking like Sharpie with an antler on th- at the end, and I'm, like, 16 hey, years old, that's dude. Like, OG way. <laughs> yeah, and so fucking, like... I had a collection of all of the pens <laughs> with... Dude. With fucking all I had I had so much ghetto shit. Like, yeah, same here, I, bro. I, I, I've, been a, I've been an OG smoker, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, dude. I get you. <laughs> yeah, so, like, I, I'm hitting this, right? And then I'm, like, I'm about to put it away, and, like, Nathan pulls up in my room, and he's like, hey, what's that? And I was like, oh, fuck, dude. And I was like, I ain't gonna lie to my bro. And I was like... That's my weed. <laughs> like, straight up, you know what I mean? And he's just like, can I try it? And I was like, you for real? And he was like, with our boy Isaac. And he's like, I'll do it if Isaac does it. And I was like, bet. And Isaac's like, I'm down. And so fucking we, like, smoked weed, got lit. And then, like, he just, like, from there, like, we started smoking weed a little bit. Him and I freestyled one night, like, with our homie G Piece. Shout out G Piece. He makes a little m- bit of music. Go check him out. He's fire. Is he in St. George, too? <laughs> and yeah, he in St. George, yeah. He, he's he got bars, dude. Like, GPC, really? yeah, GPC's That's fire. The, I always like, knew that St. George like, had tons of people that made music, dude, but... GPC, yeah, so fucking, like, us three just, like, freestyled that night, and from there, he just, like, 
started hella writing music, you know what I mean? And then, and then I'm pretty sure it was Cash Next, like, he just hella started writing music, and, like, I was al always writing music on the low key, you know what I mean? And I didn't say anything until fucking, like, forever, and then fucking, like, JP hella started making beats, and then finally I was like, all right, let me just hop on this shit. I got one good song. I found it. It was by, uh, who produced that? Martian Dancing. Who produced Martian Dancing? That was, um, uh, I think it was, uh, Mob Beats. I think it was Mob Beats, but, like, I got the chorus, and it was really good, and then I got the fucking first verse, and I was like, all right, this is fire. Like, in my head, I heard it right away. I was like, I need Nathan on this song to make it good, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if you listen to Martian Dancing. That was my first, t I might first have, track, dude, but to be honest. Like, a, a lot of people I really like that one, shit, you know what dude. I mean? Yeah, like, you, you probably heard it, because it's, like, one of the, like, if you look at, like, the top hits, I'm pretty sure it's, it's on top, you know what I mean? Okay. So it's, like, um, but, yeah, I, like, knew that I needed him on it. So it's, like, he was, like, really hyped to help me out. And so fucking we just, like, got that song. Like, it took us, like, quite a while to, like, record it and get it right and just fucking like do everything to it but like it came together well and like from there i don't know we were like all just like this little thing and nobody really like initiated it and then nathan like i don't know we just like started really just like brainstorming together and just like all just really working together like we realized like we can't just be like yeah we are solo solo artists but this is like group shit you know it's what i mean team. like like cash said like ltl is like it's not just like a label. It's not just like whatever it's going to grow to be. It's going to be way more than a label. But like it's uh, de definitely what, like a lifestyle. You know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah, that like, leads in. Like I mean, let's definitely. get into that question. What does LTL mean to you? Like uh, it's like everything to me, dude. You know what I mean? Like that. Like I <coughs> feel like. Be a little like, bit more specific though for the people. I feel like I was born specifically to, to like start a movement of positivity and like love type type shit you know what I mean like I really feel like I could just like I can do things right you know what I mean like I feel like just like like not even just like with bars or just like saying the right thing like I feel like just expressing creativity and just like expressing just being a fucking human you know what I mean like I feel like a lot of people are afraid to speak out or just like even like act out the way that they want to be just because the way that they'll be portrayed you know what I mean and it's like I don't want anybody to feel that way like it's like if someone's gonna gonna judge you, realize that they got fucking problems and they can fuck themselves. You know what I mean? Like, nah, sorry to crazy. be blunt, but damn, nah, like, you like, know what I mean? Like, I think the, uh, did you see the? I think I DM'd it. I saw, I saw a video on Instagram. It was a. Uh, do you know? Since you you guys are accused on skating, uh, Andrew Reynolds. Yeah. Yeah. On, uh, he he's like with Spitfire. I'm pretty yeah, sure, right? Uh, Baker. He's Baker. The one that yeah, started I'm Baker. No, his wheels. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, no. I'm pretty sure he's like Spitfire, but. Did he? Um, well, I'm not sure. I no, but I know Andrew Reynolds started a yeah. baker. I got and then, oh, really? Baker, got you. Death Wish, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, I'm pretty sure G Piece has a fucking poster of him in his room, honestly. Oh, really? like, yeah, that's like why I remember it. But so, yeah, like yeah. he was like a huge uh, skating inspiration to me. Anyways, yeah, yeah. I saw a video on Instagram of him saying, he's like, bro, if um, I got a lot, like, I sh everybody should be treated equally. Like, it's all love here. Like, if somebody exactly. starts hating, they got issues. Like they exactly. Got their own and a lot of people like, don't realize that I don't because get it. they have issues, too. Like, yeah. a, there's a lot of issues in this world now, and it's all, like, it's, if you really think about it, like, eat, like, two grams of mushrooms, like, you're going to realize that shit's irrelevant, you know what I mean? Yeah, and it's man. like, the hell, dude? Like, I, I don't know, but, yeah, LTL is everything to me, you know what I mean? Like, that's that's my life. That's my purpose, you know what I mean? Like. I don't know, it's, like, what I'll promote till the day I fucking die. Like, even if fucking LTL, like, dies, which I don't think it ever will. Like, my homies are solid, you know what I mean? Like, but, I mean, till I fucking die, I'm LTL, you know what I mean? Like, all in, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's, that's just me. That's what's dope is, like, that's what I love. Like, that's what I appreciate about St. George is how, like connected we can be because like george has some bit. great artists dude like yeah and we're we, like we it's have some dope. fire artists it's dude. dope like, how they're we're all supporting each other like everyone mm -hmm. it like no one's really i made like, a locals playlist against bro. each like, other you feel go me? listen to my locals playlist bro like that shit's fire like tell, what's your tell them your soundcloud and shit right now have the shaman on soundcloud bro like i'm gonna put yours in your video so i i only have my music in the fucking locals fucking playlist and listen to that locals playlist if you want to like 
listen to some St. George artists, you know what I mean? And it's like, if you're a St. George artist and you want to be on that Locals playlist, just fucking hit your boy up, dude, you know you what know I mean? You know who like, St. George Underground is? I know, I know who they are. They they support me, you know what I mean? They hella support but me. But do you know them, like, Shout personally? them out. I don't know them personally, no. Yeah, you guys should check them they, out. They, I, yeah, wa- I bet you it's really. like, I wonder if it's a teenager or something. Yeah, I, d- I don't know who it is. St. George Underground told me that they were new to town and they noticed that there was a music scene going on, so they checked it out and they created a page, but they won't share their identity with me. Oh, okay. You asked them then? For yeah, sure. Yeah, so oh, there's damn. that. But, but yeah, like if you're a St. George artist and you want to be on my playlist, I mean, like, just hit me up, bro. It's Hav the Shaman on everything. On everything, dude. Just X A V T H E S H A M A N. So get it, you know what I mean? Like, any new music? Uh, yeah, I'm working on a couple joints. I mean, like, uh, me and Raph. Like, uh, I mean, I support locals hard. You know what I mean? Like, I just been going through everybody's music that I like have heard of. You know what I mean? Just like listen to everybody's stuff. And like, I was listening to Raph's music, and like, there was this beat called Islands. You can go listen to the beat, but shit's mine. Sorry. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I heard that beat and I instantly needed it. You know what I mean? So I hit up Raph like immediately like 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 we were talking about earlier like i feel like i feel energy pretty well and raf got that energy bro like i was i was telling i was telling our home girl like i don't know what it is about raf but like i love that guy's like energy like it's like so peaceful you know what i mean like it's just like yeah i feel like it's like yeah exactly it's like zen in a way you know what i mean yeah like i know it's so fucking i like hit him up instantly and i was like yo Send me that Islands beat, dude. I need it. And then I ended up getting sick, so I had to lag and shit. But fucking, like, I uh, I, I made my first rough draft yesterday. Like, everybody in my house just, like, dipped, bro. So I, like, I threw it down. We ended up getting drunk. I told you about it. Like, we ended up just, like, turning up. It was cool. It, like, got work done. Like, the song came out pretty good. I, like, played it for Cash on the way up. And he was like, yeah, dude, that one, that one was good. Like, I was, I was feeling it. Like, that one's a vibe for sure, dude. And oh, yeah. then... I mean, I got a, uh, I'm working on an EP with Jason Nova as well. Like, we're working on, uh, it'll probably, it's just going to be a little one until we work on something serious. It's probably going to be like, probably more like four tracks, you know what I mean? Like four or five tracks. Um, pro- um, yeah, most likely I'm going to find another beat with Raph and get him in there as well. So um, Raph and Jason Nova working, working together, they're... Um, pink matter love you know what i mean so it's like i'm gonna try to like get a collab of of all that you know what i mean like it's just gonna be like straight up like just energy of just like locals dude just like putting out bangers bro you know what i mean like i'm gonna make sure that like the projects come out like really good like but yeah i'm gonna be dropping like singles and stuff like that like just more like sporadically as i get just songs yeah, nothing but, true, like, really specific quite yet. Yeah, but I'm, I am working on projects, you know what I mean? As I get songs that are just, but like... no dates is kind of what I mean, like, no mm, time zone one. Let me see. Uh, nah, no, nothing right now. I don't have anything for I think certain. that's like, a I have a couple about songs in the vault now. that I'm sitting on, but I think some of them that I'm, I'm going to, like, put on the projects, you know what I mean? So I'm not sure if I want to drop them yet, but... Yeah, I did just recently drop a song called Street Hippie. It's produced by... Uh, I did hear that one for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Young Nab. Uh, that homie hit me up on Twitter, and he was just like, dude, you killed the Shamanic EP. And I was just like, hell yeah, thank you. And it was just like, it's just like a little project that I threw together just so people know, like, well, who I, I mean, you're, and you're what the, I'm about. The mixing's you know I mean? dope, dude. <laughs> yeah, like, thank yeah, you. Yeah, I, it sounds I good. That's yeah. why, I like, I think it's, it's cool. Um, I mean, it's not... Just your average yeah. SoundCloud song, you yeah, know. Yeah, it's it's different for sure, and it's like, I I want everybody to understand like this next like few years as I'm doing music, it's all experimental, dude. Like I don't I don't think I'm really gonna tap in and like lock into my artistry until like five years in. You know what I mean? Of actually projecting myself. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I, and feel I bet like, you. And I feel like just at the beginning of this year is when I'm like actually like starting to really project better music like like no lie like daydreaming and street hippie are probably like my and fucking psychedelic renegade like these are those songs that like i've been in the vibe and like i've made them and they're like all my more recent tracks like aside from psychedelic renegade but it's like 
I, I heard all the like recent ones. Feeling it. Yeah, yeah. All exactly, of them are dope. Yeah. Psychedelic Renegades, though. Yeah, that one's fire. And shout out Jason Nova for fucking daydreaming. He he produced that beat, so. Yeah, but. For that song? Yeah, yeah. yeah he produced the beat for daydreaming. Yeah. Sweet, man. Well, I mean, that's pretty much all I got, too, for you. I mean, do you Hell want yeah. any last words for your fans and stuff or uh, anyone well, new that hasn't listened to you? Well, I mean, like, shout out to you, Alex and Mauricio. Fucking, they they killed it. I mean, fire podcast. Go through all their stuff. I mean, like, all of it's killer, dude. You know what I mean? Like, you guys are putting out good content. Like, shout out to you. Like, I just felt like I really had to hit you up. You know what I mean? Like, I was like, dude, we dude, need to get up I on actually podcast, talked to you before like, I talked to Cash. Really? You yeah, were, exactly. I was like, waiting to talk to him, but yeah, he was talking really, to dude, someone. Yeah. He was That's already <laughs> talking, and you just That's happened awesome. to be sitting yeah. right in front of me. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. That's a, I, don't, I don't know. I just knew we had to make that connection. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just trying to fucking, like, I know that you need a team, you know what I mean? Like, everybody just needs yeah, to mean, support bro. one another. And shit's going to work out way better, bro. Like, not even just music, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's bigger than that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, That's what but, I was saying. But, it's yeah, just, peace, love, positivity. Like, shout out to everybody watching. I mean, again, like, Alex and Mauricio, get, uh, click that like, subscribe, yeah. share, yeah. follow fucking Cash <laughs> Ames. Cash Ames, C A S H A M E S, and then again, Hop the Shaman. Give a shout out to, because your oh, guys' yeah. also guys fucking, shit would probably come out before everyone else. Yeah, you're <coughs> right, you're right. So fucking shout out Live to Love. That's, that's our crew. So again, that's Hop the Shaman, Cash Ames, Jason Nova, exactly the way it sounds, and Nate Junt. Go check them out on all platforms. Fucking Junt sound is spelled J V N T. Yeah, on on SoundCloud it's spelled J U N T, but on Instagram it's J V N T. Twitter as well. So, follow me, Cash Ames, C A S H A I M S. Oh my bad, my bad for spelling that wrong. Bro. And follow Nasty Club <laughs> as well. Yeah. At Nasty Club, N S T Y C L U B.